connecting the I-90 corridor from Boston to Rochester via Photonics. On this episode of Light Matters, we take you to a college campus where industry and education leaders are proposing a photonics factory where students can learn from local industry experts. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy, and this is Light Matters for September 2017. In partnership with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's AIM Photonics Academy, Springfield Technical Community College, or STIC, plans to create a state-of-the-art facility that would represent a step forward in the development of photonics manufacturing in the area. We'll have more on that story coming up. But first, Photonics Media's Industry Beacon Awards honor those in the photonics and optics industry whose outstanding contributions have advanced light-based technologies in the scientific, business, and academic communities. They're nominated by you, our viewers and readers. Photonics Media's news editor, Autumn Pilant, caught up with one of our winners in the educator category and brings us his story. Dr. Nick Massa has been teaching at Springfield Technical Community College for 32 years. He's also been actively involved in the photonics and optics field for as long as he's been teaching. All right, let's get to work. <laughs> as professor and department chairman of the optics and photonics technology program at STIC, he has prepared more than 1,000 students to become skilled optics and photonics technicians. He was recently named a photonics media industry beacon in the educator category. Sometimes you get so wrapped up in what you're doing day to day, training students, working with industry, that um, you don't realize that other people recognize that. And uh, to be recognized for, for what I do, which is something that I just love to do and I would do it anyways, not for the recognition, but uh, uh, it was just it was very flattering. Well, actually, I kind of idolize him. I, I want to be like him, uh, become an expert in the topic, and perhaps one day teach, too. Kong had a different major until one day he saw a flyer for the optics and photonics program. I was reading it, and I felt interested, so I went to talk to Professor Massa, and he invited me into his classes. So I sat in a couple of his classes for a semester, and I thought I would enjoy it. Professor Massa has many awards under his belt, including SPIE's Educator Award in 2010 and the Springfield Technical Community College Faculty of the Year Award. He serves on the OSA Membership and Education Services Committee and is a board member for the National Organization for Workforce Improvement. Despite all of his accomplishments, he still remains humble. I am surrounded by people who are smarter and more accomplished than I am, and I feel honored that way too. So to be awarded this Industry Beacon Award kind of puts me on the spotlight for a little while, which is nice, you know, so it makes me feel like I'm part of a, something bigger. Reporting for Photonics Media and Light Matters, I'm Autumn Hyland. Thanks, Autumn. For more about Professor Massa and the Optics and Photonics program at STIC, be sure to check out our most recent episode of Light Matters Extra, available at photonics.com. This year's Industry Beacon Award winners represent a diverse group of entrepreneurs, educators, researchers, industry advocates, and leaders. In the entrepreneur category, this year's winners are Helder Crespo, Richard Clater, and Don McPherson and Andrew Schmader. Along with Nick Massa, Roy McCord, and Isaiah Warner are this year's Industry Beacon Educators. In the research category, we've honored Peter Windsor, Nick Holinyak, and Joseph Lakowitz. Industry advocates are Pierre Galanou, James Wyant, and MJ Soilu. Patricia Sanu, Alex Cable, and Nader Ngata are the 2017 Industry Beacons in the Leader category. Be sure to read all about this year's winners in the September issue of Photonic Spectra magazine, available in hard copy and online at photonics.com. The American Institute for Manufacturing Integrated Photonics, or AIM Photonics Institute, is headquartered in Rochester, New York, where the main test assembly and packaging operation is located. Albany houses the Institute's $2 billion chip-making fabrication operation. Representatives from AIM Photonics and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts joined local industry reps and educators in the Springfield area 
for a meeting designed to promote manufacturing through a proposed photonics education and practice factory at Springfield Technical Community College. The idea is that Massachusetts has most of the photonics uh, competency and we'll be able to provide a supply chain uh, which matched with those uh, large infrastructure elements in New York uh, can create a manufacturing supply chain. MIT's role with AIM is to lead education, workforce development, and technology roadmap activities. We expect to work with Springfield Technical Community College uh, to build curricula, uh, to engage the local industry uh, and to uh, bring them into the manufacturing supply chain in small steps that uh, explore their what we call latent competency in the new technology and then project it into uh, the uh, large commercial applications that are building for the future. MIT's AIM Photonics Academy launched the first education and practice factory this spring on its campus. Quinn Sigamon Community College and Worcester Polytechnic Institute, both based in Worcester, Massachusetts, are planning the second education and practice factory. The proposed stick facility would be the third, while a fourth is being considered elsewhere along the I-90 corridor. Follow Light Matters and Photonics.com for further developments to this story. Well, that's it for this month's show. Be sure to follow us on social media for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time, keep following the photons. <laughs>